mentioned and it caught my attention. You 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 mentioned that you're no fan of uh, Ashoka. No, I'm um, not. Why do you say that? Well, because I think that very very unfairly, all the work that was done by Chandragupta Maurya is ascribed to Ashok, mm. and that is really really unfair. Ashok was kind of you know a pampered princeling mm. and an aggressive princeling who got the empire from his grandfather and his father. Correct. We know very little about Bindusar. except mm-hmm. for uh, little bits from greek history and whatever we know we know that he was a fierce warrior a fierce mm-hmm. fighter a very very valorous king mm-hmm. about chandragupta maurya we know a lot mm-hmm. and he was the one who actually established this empire ashok merely inherited it he was the sure. well, we karan johar of his times <laughs> and then, you know, kind of made a, he didn't do very well with it yes because it fell to pieces just a few decades after his death it fell to pieces he was uh, you know he lived to a great old age and a terrible old age mm. he became powerless in the end and uh, the mauryan empire was not served well by ashok in fact if i were to write the decline and fall of the mauryan empire well ashok would be the hero over there <laughs> so i feel that the achievements of the mauryan empire are not the achievements of ashok they are the achievements of chandragupta maurya mm. and you know this kind of peculiar obsession of white western indologists with buddhism they have inflated his ideas about buddhism now i am not disagreeing that mm. he was a buddhist he did become a buddhist and he did give a lot of uh, importance to spreading buddhism around the world but we must remember that it was not an either or situation at mm. the same time sanatan dharma jainism ajivics so many other sects they were all also prospering and thriving and being patronized by the mauryans themselves so Correct. ashok did not patronize only buddhism he patronized everyone such were the mauryan kings hmm. chandragupt became a jain but he also patronized sanatan dharma the Correct. same for bindusar bindusar is very uh, you know one of the stories about him is that he was very much into greek philosophy hmm. and greek religion but that did not mean that what was happening in india what was happening with sanatan dharma was something bad so mm-hmm. we must not live with you know this is that kind of very monotheistic and very crusader like attitude it's either or it was all oh, like correct that. correct everything went together mm-hmm. and ashok has been needlessly lionized mm-hmm. by people who have not understood the nature of buddhism and the relationship between buddhism and sanatan dharma mm-hmm. they love to put it as a reform Of Correct. Sanatan, Correct. As a reform of as a, yes, yes. Yeah. And you know, Ashok is nothing but the Greek emperor, uh, uh, the, the Roman emperor Constantine. So mm. the same as Constantine spread Christianity. Christianity. On Ashok, that okay. Now Ashok spread Buddhism all around. So you know, these kind of parallels were there in the head of all those Christian people who were mm. researching uh, whatever happened in India, and they were the ones who decided to who got to write the story. Correct. So this is the story they've written. I don't buy this story at all. <laughs> nice. So, uh, so well, he has never been a favorite of mine and will not be. But I will continue to write about the Morans. Perhaps I will write a book about a show where mm. you know he'll be the villain. Hmm. Nice. Nice. Um, yeah i think this thing about um, a show a, a lot of lot of facts are coming to the fore about uh, um kings and rulers who have been lionized who have been uh, you know uh, uh, made made uh, and i just like to add uh, one thing here pujita if you'll just permit me the inscriptions on the pillars which have been found in the mauryan domain are very very Uh, popular and all of them are supposed to have been written by ashok during his time mm-hmm. now there are certain other independent sources of research which date those pillars to a time much before the mauryans oh. so the inscriptions could have been written by ashok yes but those pillars belong to a time much before the mauryans there are research papers by somebody called john irwin in case any of your uh, mm-hmm. listeners or viewers are interested i can give the references so those pillars already existed now let's get to the inscriptions themselves what is written in that now if you read these people who lionize ashok 
it is a totally new way of looking at kingship where the king was to look after the welfare of his subjects that's what ashok is famous for then pray what about you know i have this book all the time with me what about this book you know you can draw a parallel Hmm. between what is written in those instructions this is the arts shast so you can draw parallels and i intend to write an article on this the hmm. concepts of welfare administration running the kingdom that are there in the inscriptions hmm. of so called ashokan inscriptions i mean can all be sourced back to the arth shastra oh. and what is the arth shastra if not uh the essence of the political principles of this nation hmm. the arthashastra itself is also not stand alone it is part of a tradition which comes from so many so perhaps many years ago Correct. from the mahabharat Correct. from so many other texts so this lionizing of ashok is something which i feel is completely not on hmm. so obviously i mean i would never write anything about him Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanyawad. Namaskar.